Grand Rising, Earth Angels. Hello, how are we today? Yeah, it's a beautiful day. The sun is rising behind me. Um, I got to work early this morning, a lot early. I dropped my daughter off for swim practice and was like, I'm just gonna head in. And before I go into the building and start doing the work of the day for uh, my job, I'm gonna, I wanted to drop in and do a reading for y'all. Got the full moon up here. I'm gonna do a little, I know, that's creepy to watch. But there she is, full moon in Gemini. The beaver moon, that's called by the almanac. Um, something about beavers in November, damming up, how they start to go into hibernation. I don't know why uh, Old Farmer's Almanac calls it that, but I thought it was cute. I happen to like beaver. There's a beaver pond near my work. I can go look at uh, There's turtles there too. I consider it the turtle pond. Um, nothing against the beavers that live there, mind you. But, I dig turtle energy. Anyway, the new moon, in, or the full moon in Gemini can bring up a lot of energies for you. How's it been for you? It started yesterday, and well, it's actually, I've been feeling it the whole weekend, and today is, it's Tuesday morning. So I just wanted to do a, uh, a full moon reading for the Earth Angels. A I only have one deck of cards with me, and that's good. We're just going to look at... Yeah. What are the energies around you? What you can expect to deal with? What the overall energy of your day? Or the overall energies of this full moon are for the Earth Angel Collective? Spirit guides and ancestors, please be with me now as I go within this tarot. Help me to bring forth the most clear and concise messages for the collective of Earth Angels, for our light workers, um, anchoring in these healing codes, processing the old traumas and the old karmas from humanity. Helping us to awaken to the new day, fresh, with a child's mind, for the collective. A, she, fairies, and spirits. What do we have for the overall energy for this full moon for the Earth Angels? Can you give me one card and then we'll clarify from there? What would you say is the overall energy that the Earth Angels can... Ah, yes, that would make sense. The world. The whole universe in a grain of sand, the whole world in an acorn. Everything to become an oak tree. And I love how it looks like the moon behind it. It's really quite beautiful. What else would you like to say about this world energy? For the Earth Angels. An Ace of Swords. Two seeds, actually. The, I see the Ace of Swords as a seed energy. It's a new thought. You have a new thought available to you, a new concept came out with the world. That's, which the world is an acorn there, so that's also a seed. What else do we have about this world energy for the earth angels? For this full moon energy that's in now for the earth angels. Three of cups. Sharing joy, sharing positive feelings, communications, and laughter with f close friends. Sharing love, sharing joy. That definitely always helps when manifesting, that's for sure. Keeping your thoughts on what you actually want and on the positive. Uh, what are the energies that are around our earth angels this day, through this, through this full moon? 
What are the energies around the Earth Angels? Ten of Pentacles. Abundance. Abundance within the earthly plane. Ah, just lost my truck light. That's okay. We didn't need it anyway. Um, what else do we have for the Earth Angels? Spirit, or the energies around the Earth Angels in this time. A Ten of Swords. Ending a cycle of mental pain and judgment. And these are the energies around you. I'm not necessarily saying you will be experiencing that, but maybe someone around you is experiencing judgment in this now time. And the Hierophant. Rules, order. Um, traditional values. So, what more can you tell me about that Ten of Swords? I have a feeling that that was, has something to do with traditional values and rules. Or someone not following that. Or feeling trapped by that. But Ten of Swords isn't a trapped feeling. That's stabbed in the back. That's... Ouch. The High Priestess. The High Priestess and the Hierophant. Interesting. You'll know what this energy is for you. What it is around you. These are the adjacent energies. These are the energies around you. Um, what energies are coming at our Earth Angels through this changing moon through this full moon in Gemini. This beaver moon. Spirit, what do we have for the energies that are coming at, coming towards our earth angels? Queen of Wands, fire sign, feminine energy, assertive, Knowledge, well, she knows how to do her thing. Um, knows about action, knows how to make things happen. Very creative. And the tower. The tower energy there. Something that was built on a faulty foundation. So this could be a queen of wands, like a fire sign, feminine, or could be a, man, it could be a male embodying his feminine energies coming towards you to let you know and that would be the adjacent energy there of the of the ten of swords could be coming to let you know about something like that I don't know what else do we have for the uh, the earth angels for this full moon what advice do we have for our earth angels through this full moon hanged man Go for a new perspective on a situation or on life itself. It's one thing about the new about the full moons. They can uh, they can help us see where we haven't grown or where we could still grow or we change, heal, those sorts of things. And about an eight of cups, walking away. Walking away from what didn't fulfill us and didn't um, enrich us. It's like, yeah, that, that, that wasn't satisfying, so I'm going to move on to something better. Yeah. Don't stay stale and stagnant. Let it go. Going back to that seed energy that was the overall energy for the Earth Angels. And the Three of Cups, which is celebrating, joyful. If something isn't giving you joy, walk. you may want to consider walking away. It may be time. Time to let that go. Well, that's what I have for you, Earth Angels. Um, 
some you love. See the sun's coming up higher behind me. The light's growing. And uh, I think I'm gonna get into work, get an early crack on the day, see how far ahead of things I can get. Anyway, sending you much love, much gratitude for you stopping by and checking this video out. Um, if you liked it, click like, let me know about that. Um, if you got something out of it, if this resonated for you, uh, if you know who that high priestess is, uh, who's dealing with the Ten of Swords moment, let me know. That'd be, share your story. It helps me know if I'm, you know, communicating well. Anyway, that's all I have for you now, Earth Angels. Love and peace.